A landmark ruling today by Europe's top court delivering a blow to Uber. The decision, Uber is a transportation company like taxis and should be regulated like one across the EU. And that could have a ripple effect on other tech gig economy type services that could eventually face more fees, more taxes and more rules. And as this headline from Bloomberg puts it, if Uber is a taxi firm, Airbnb looks a lot like a Hilton. The European Court of Justice rejecting Uber's argument that it's simply a digital app, an online middleman that links drivers with customers looking for a ride. The case was brought by taxi drivers in Barcelona, calling for Uber to follow the same rules as traditional cab companies. Uber, which has faced legal battles and protests in Europe already, is brushing off the decision, saying it won't change things in most EU countries where it operates. Other sharing economy companies could one day be slapped with tougher regulations. The Independent in the UK says the court's ruling could mean that a similar argument could be made to reclassify other services that are now deemed to be digital peer-to-peer -peer platforms. Disgraced Cardinal Bernard Law has died in Rome at the age of 86. He was the Archbishop of Boston who resigned in 2002 after the Boston Globe revealed he covered up sexual abuse on children by priests for years by moving the church leaders from parish to parish. The Oscar-winning movie Spotlight was based on that real-life story. Law never faced criminal charges and kept his cardinal's rank. Catalonia goes to the polls tomorrow in a snap election called after the Spanish government took direct control over the region in October in the wake of an illegal independence referendum. The campaign has been an unusual one. One of the candidates is currently in jail. Another is in Brussels over concerned he'll be put behind bars. Both have pushed for Catalonia to separate from Spain. Some experts are predicting a record turnout for tomorrow's vote amid Spain's worst political crisis in decades. So who's going to win? Well, final polls show Catalans are split between pro-union and pro-independence parties.